a few weeks ago, we uncovered this beautiful sandstone cavalry altar. Um, it was a terrible, terrible day of rain. Our volunteers, Richard and David, were excavating a rather mucky area and we decided actually it wasn't very safe for them and we would have much preferred them to do something on a more level um, surface. So we decided we'd move them onto uh, uncovering the floor of what looked like a 4th century um, cavalry barrack. A few minutes into their excavation, um, despite the battering rain, David uncovered some really nice bits of this stone. Well, it was raining. It was depressing because you're, you're covering up and we just wanted to go away for our dinner. I saw this sort of um, slightly rugged looking bit of stone, sort of just this end of it. And it, was, it's, it looked like something you, you, you never quite, you don't want to make a fool of yourself, so you just keep quiet for the moment and it became something and the little pointed end came up. And we actually got a sort of lovely round of applause as we entered the archaeology centre up at the top, uh, Marta holding this little trophy. Sandstone altars like this one often have an inscription below them helping us identify who is being portrayed. However, this little altar would have sat high on a niche. It's back, it's nice and flat, so it was never meant to be viewed from behind. The lack of an inscription leaves us to try and identify who the person portrayed in it is only by its attributes. Attributes are kind of standardized um, items that get represented with a god. Um, we've got a few here on this stone. We have a hat right here and two little bits at the top. Those two little bits could be interpreted as wings, making this Mercury the god of travel. Uh, the horse or donkey is also a common attribute of Mercury. However, the spear in his hand and his nakedness and his very well-defined muscles uh, mean that this guy could also be Mars, the god of war. And that would shed some light on the hat again, which could be also interpreted as a crest. Um, the truth is that this find was um, excavated from an area which would have been populated by cavalry men uh, in the fourth century. And what could have happened is that the cavalry men residing at Lindalanda could have created a god which merged the characteristics of both Mars and Mercury and could have made this very unique piece in tribute to that particular god. So we're looking at something that we have never seen before at Vindalanda and that we might not see again. This beautiful piece is going to go on display in our museum, but the research that we are doing on him is not yet complete. We do want to um, continue looking at this guy. In particular, it would be lovely to see if it had ever been a painted piece by conducting some scientific analysis on the stonework. You will be very welcome to see this in our museum from next month.